Difference between abstract class and interface in Python. What is the difference between abstract class and interface in Python? What you'll see sometimes is the following. Because Python doesn't have, and doesn't need, a formal interface contract, the Java-style distinction between abstraction and interface doesn't exist. If someone goes through the effort to define a formal interface, it will also be an abstract class. The only differences would be in the stated intent in the doc string. And the difference between abstract and interface is a hair-splitting thing when you have duct typing. Java uses interfaces because it doesn't have multiple inheritance. Because Python has multiple inheritance, you may also see something like this. This uses a kind of abstract superclass with mixins to create concrete subclasses that are disjoint. What is the difference between abstract class and interface in Python? An interface, for an object, is a set of methods and attributes on that object. In Python, we can use an abstract base class to define and enforce an interface using an abstract base class. For example, say we want to use one of the abstract base classes from the collections module. If we try to use it, we get in type error because the class we created does not support the expected behavior of sets. So we are required to implement at least underscore contains underscore, underscore eater underscore, and underscore len underscore. Let's use this implementation example from the documentation. Implementation, creating an abstract base class. We can create our own abstract base class by setting the meta class to abc.appmeta and using the abc.abstract method decorator on relevant methods. The meta class will be add the decorated functions to the underscore abstract methods underscore attribute, preventing instantiation until those are defined. For example, effable is defined as something that can be expressed in words. Say we wanted to define an abstract base class that is effable, in Python 2. Or in Python 3, with the slight change in meta class declaration. Now if we try to create an effable object without implementing the interface. and attempt to instantiate it. We are told that we haven't finished the job. Now if we comply by providing the expected interface. We are then able to use the concrete version of the class derived from the abstract one. There are other things we could do with this, like register virtual subclasses that already implement these interfaces, but I think that is beyond the scope of this question. The other methods demonstrated here would have to adapt this method using the ABC module to do so, however. Conclusion 
We have demonstrated that the creation of an abstract base class defines interfaces for custom objects in Python. Python is greater than or equal to 2.6 has abstract base classes. Abstract base classes, abbreviated ABCs, complement duck typing by providing a way to define interfaces when other techniques like Hasitor would be clumsy. Python comes with many built-in ABCs for data structures, in the collections module, numbers, in the numbers module, and streams, in the IO module. You can create your own ABC with the ABC module. There is also the Zope interface module, which is used by projects outside of Zope, like Twisted. I'm not really familiar with it, but there's a wiki page here that might help. In general, you don't need the concept of abstract classes, or interfaces in Python, edited, cs.lots answer for details. In a more basic way to explain, an interface is sort of like an empty muffin pan. It's a class file with a set of method definitions that have no code. An abstract class is the same thing, but not all functions need to be empty. Some can have code. It's not strictly empty. Why differentiate? There's not much practical difference in Python, but on the planning level for a large project, it could be more common to talk about interfaces, since there's no code. Especially if you're working with Java programmers who are accustomed to the term. If you want to see another, please click on the